It's been a while since I've done one of these. I've been busy traveling. I went to Bali for a little over a week. I have just been so, so busy with so many different things. So I'm glad to finally be back and filming another What I Eat in a Day. Nothing has like really changed with what I'm eating. Like I still just like my really normal, boring vegan foods, but I do have plans to eat out this evening at one of my favorite restaurants that I don't think I've showed on here before, so that's exciting. I already went and got my coffee. I treat going and walking to get coffee as like a walking meditation in the morning because I don't listen to anything and the streets are mostly empty around me, like around like 7, 8 a.m. So I just go and I pick up my coffee and it's my favorite part of the day. Anyway, for breakfast, I'm going to be making something a little different. I know I've showed my pumpkin pancakes on here before because they might be my favorite way to make pancakes and I just like pumpkin and everything like you can see in all my recipes. I just use a lot of like root vegetables because I need to ground. But today the recipe will be a little different so I'll go ahead and show you how I'm making these cauliflower flour pumpkin pancakes because I'm a sucker for any buzzword trendy food item. I'm in the kitchen about to make these pancakes now, and this is the flour I'm using. It's this cauliflower flour from Whole Foods. I'm totally not someone looking to like replace flour, and usually I just use oat flour, like oats ground into a flour, but I saw it and I was like, okay, it's not that expensive, like I'll try it out. Because usually this is used for savory recipes, like cauliflower pizza crust is on the back here, but like you could totally make this into pancakes. So I'm gonna do my normal pancake recipe and see how they turn out. The normal recipe just has um, like pumpkin puree and some add-ins, mix it all with some almond milk and a little bit of like sweetener. And then I'm gonna be adding blueberries into this one today. So I'll show you the process and then fingers crossed they turn out. If not, we might just have a pile of mush. So as you can see here, the pancakes aren't really turning out. I tried to cut away the little burned blueberry pieces and then I tried to make one giant pancake and it was just falling apart. This cauliflower flour is so dry. My entire apartment smelled like steamed cauliflower. I did my best and topped it with some just fresh blueberries, just the rest I had, some nutso, like mixed nut and seed butter and some cacao nibs and maple syrup. It was a mess like it was honestly really gross and I ended up only being able to eat like the nut butter and blueberry part of it And then my mic like wasn't working or sound wasn't on and so I don't know why I was going on and on talking about this banana for so long but then, oh, and then I take out these little red bananas that I bought too that I um, I tried to eat one and it was really underripe and it was one of the most disgusting things I've ever had. So I highly recommend waiting until the red bananas are like about to ferment because it was just, it was bad. Anyway, I, I don't know why I'm going on so much. Um, I Oh, then I miss my soul cycle signups because I was rambling about the red bananas because that's my life. Then I finally decide to eat the fucking banana and get on with my day. <laughs> For lunch, my sound cut out too, but I just started by steaming up some Japanese sweet potato, and I already had some pre-cooked brown rice from like a Lotus Foods easy to make rice packet, and I just added also the last of my chickpeas I had bulk prepped for the week. So I had the brown rice, the chickpeas, and then I started to make an avocado dressing with just mashed avocado and some Thrive Market Chipotle smoky salsa that I mashed that with 
the I air fried the sweet potatoes and those were ready and so I just popped those in the bowl added in my guac basically and topped with some hemp seeds sprinkled some herb seasoning a bit of black pepper topped with some basil the greens I added were butter lettuce and kale I'm back. Mike is on now and working so we can have actual, actual vocal commentary here. I'm actually not going out for dinner. My friend had to cancel because she got really bad food poisoning. So I'll be cooking here tonight, which is fine because I'm, I've had a long day of recording all of my forecasts for September, taking a bunch of pictures for my Depop for the clothes I sell. So I'm ready to chill out and watch the new Orange is the New Black season. And for dinner, I'm gonna be making my usual tofu and veggie curry. And today I'm gonna serve it over buckwheat. I usually serve it over rice and I haven't had buckwheat in forever. So I'm bringing that back out today. I just got some at the store yesterday. So I will take you with me as I assemble the foods and all the things. down as I hold this and try not to burn my hand but here is the buckwheat that I made I buy toasted buckwheat because that's they they have that at Whole Foods otherwise when I buy normal buckwheat just like bulk at other stores I like to toast it beforehand just like toast the dry buckwheat it gives it a nice nutty flavor once it cooks before you cook it in water then in here I have a lot of veggies I have onions a little bit of garlic my curry powder spices Carrots, bell pepper, broccoli, air fried Brussels sprouts, some arugula, and then air fried tofu I threw in. Also mixed in some fire roasted tomatoes, which I forgot to film, but I just buy those canned from Thrive Market. Topped it off with some lemon hummus. I buy the Engine 2 brand. It's really good. Some flaxseed, some unsweetened ketchup, a little bit of basil, some nori seaweed sprinkled all on, and then I have, I don't know if you can see... <laughs> I have a piece of seaweed just like balancing on my books because I'm obsessed with seaweed and I eat it on everything. Then finally, just some Primal Palette New Bay seasoning, which is my favorite, and a bit of black pepper. And we are set to go if this would focus as I watch the newest episode of Big Brother because it's the best show ever. I will be on there eventually when I turn 21 and can legally apply. I will enjoy my seaweed. Oh, and I'm making this, this tea. It's lemon ginger tea. Let me get it out. I'm sorry about this filming. I'm making this tea from Thrive Market, lemon ginger. This is so zoomed in. I shouldn't be filming like this. Um, but yeah, I'm wondering if it's like a knockoff of the reishi turmeric ginger, which is a bit pricey, but you know, if it's not good, we'll we'll go back to the pricey. Another news. I will have this. See you at dessert. Last thing I'm having today, you all know if you've seen this, this is my favorite dessert ever, basically. It's this Lakanto monk fruit chocolate, which is so good. I can't recommend this enough. It's my favorite. With one date, which I'm running out of medjool dates here and a lot of nut butter on top. And this is the nut butter I used earlier that I didn't get to talk about, but it's the Nutso Keto Nut Butter. It's just like higher in fat because it includes coconut. Not my fave because it's crunchy, but the flavor's good. So if you're into crunchy, highly recommend. And I'm just going to slather those on top and have that.
that is all I'm going to be having today. I hope that this was a fun what I ate in a day to watch. I hope it gave you some ideas for vegan food besides the cauliflower flour pancakes because that was fucking terrible. Don't. Somebody come up with a better recipe than I do because that was disgusting. Don't try that. Try my other meals. Watch my other videos. Watch my forecasts that I spent all today recording and I will catch you in the next video. Bye!